Rico 23's public installations challenge viewers to examine their relationships with their community and with the world at large. The Portuguese-born political artist has exhibited internationally for over 20 years. His work is an expression of his own thoughtful reflection on the intersection of public and private life. This impulse to like to introduce meaning into an urban space through art um, is something that I've been very attached to for a long time, namely, you know, painting murals, adding text, one word or two to a structure and um, trying to change the meaning of the building or even some of the conversations that might happen around it. Rico 23 is in the process of testing projector systems on the UFCW Local 5 building near the intersection of San Carlos and South 1st Street in downtown San Jose. The temporary installation, now named Oglala Oyate, Sister City for a Better Future, will mark a first for an artist most used to working with latex paint and a brush. Rigo 23 lives part-time in San Francisco. He's no stranger to San Jose. He designed this sculpture at San Jose State University, it honors student activists who took a stand for human rights at the 1968 Olympics. When I was invited to do this project for the Zero One Biennial, I was looking at San Jose as if I didn't know it from before, you know, trying to look at it with as blank a stare as possible. And then bring, introduce an element into it that by introducing an element of contrast might cause people to see where they live with maybe a renewed look for a split second or a few minutes or for a few days as the biennial will be happening. Exploring the biennial theme of build your own world, Rigo 23 is focusing on San Jose's efforts to build global community through relationships with its seven sister cities. I'm going to explore San Jose's global family a little bit. I, want, I would like to get to know a little bit of San Jose's sisters and bring a little bit of the sisters, um, like a little bit of a photo album. So what I would like to do is to um, capture uh, daily moments of life in Okayama, Yekaterinburg, uh, Dublin, Pune, Veracruz, Tainan, uh, and uh, San Jose, Costa Rica, and bring a little bit of that urban fabric to San Jose. In my relationship with developing the piece, I'm, yeah, I'm a place that is both scary and exciting, you know. Um, usually how large imagery happens in cities nowadays is very much coming from the world of advertising. I'm trying to use that medium to bring in more of an individual voice, a citizen voice. So the spectacle, or the product that I'll be talking about is not really a product that is for sale, nor is it a worldwide or gigantic spectacle. It's kind of like a personal, individual experience, which is then broadcast as if it were something else. Rigo 23 says he wants to explore how those seven sister cities bring vitality to public life. Because I think, honestly, that there is a bit of a um, deficit of human presence in San Jose as you experience the city. Uh, when I think of other urban spaces around the world, I think partially because of the industry that's here, that it's so much sort of disembodied, and also because I think the downtown San Jose has a lot of, hosts a lot of conventions, there are people that come to work here for a short period of time, so they don't quite know the city, and they move around like that, so quickly from the car into the building, from the building into the car. I have an empathy with the city because it's, you know, close to where I live. And like I said, I, have a, I had a very strong sort of professional and emotional experience here. But at the same time, I'm trying to look at the city with sort of a um, non-committed and global perspective because this is a festival that will be bringing people from all over the world to San Jose and all kinds of perspectives to San Jose. I'm basically trying to surprise myself in the relationship with the city, hoping that then I will be able to pass on that to the people that ultimately will experience the work. Rigo 23 will be on site for the biennial. He expects it to be visually, intellectually, and sensorially stimulating. 
He contrasts it with biennials that run for months, most with decreasing public and artistic involvement. This celebration supports his own sense of public engagement. I think that it is uh, smart and kind of an interesting approach to say, no, let's do it just for these few days and embrace fully the notion that it is a festival, that it is short-lived, but that it still can have its function and, and impact the people that live in the city. So I'm looking forward to that. The 2010-01 SJ Biennial runs September 16th through 19th in venues throughout downtown San Jose and in satellite locations in Silicon Valley and San Francisco. For more on the 01 SJ Biennial, visit 01sj.org. The 01 SJ Biennial is produced by 01, the Art and Technology Network.